What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be tackling a relatively common issue that you could be having with Resident Evil Village. So if you've recently bought the really expensive game, downloaded it, and for some reason you're not able to launch it due to something about DirectX, that's exactly what this video is going to help you tackle. Now, of course, before we even get anywhere with troubleshooting this game, make sure that your device supports DirectX 12, both your Windows setup and, of course, your graphics card. If you're on a laptop, then more than likely the solution is really simple. Otherwise, if you're on a desktop with a relatively old graphics card, I would highly recommend you Google search your graphics card to make sure that it does actually support DirectX 12 fully. If it does, then proceed with this tutorial or guide. If you're using a laptop with an integrated graphics card and a dedicated graphics card, i.e. an Intel or AMD CPU with a built-in GPU and an NVIDIA or AMD GPU on top of that, the game could be running on the incorrect one, causing it to not detect DirectX 12 properly and not function properly. So if you're on a laptop or a computer with more than one graphics processor, hit start and then type in GPU. Open Graphics Settings. Inside of Graphics Settings, on the left-hand side, look for Graphics Performance Preference. From the drop-down, select Desktop App, and all we're going to do is look for RE8 if you have it added here already. If you don't, then simply click Browse and then navigate across to where the game is installed. For me, it's in eGames Steam Steam Apps Common Resident Evil Village Biohazard Village. Inside of this folder over here, you'll find RE8.exe, the main program's application. Click on it, click Add, and it'll then appear on the list over here. Simply select it, then click Options, and choose High Performance, Save, and Close. More than likely, you saw more than just one graphics card there. If you saw something about Intel in the Power Saving option, then more than likely this issue has been solved. You should be able to open up Steam, fire up the game, and play it as per usual. However, if you click Play and it's still not working for some reason, what else can we try? Well, of course, because it's a brand new game, make sure that not only your Windows, but also your graphics card drivers are fully up to date. If you haven't updated Windows in a while, it's probably a very good idea to do so. If I pull up the update screen over here, you'll see that there's currently a pending update for me to Windows 21H1. This is the latest update pack for Windows 10. And of course, if you're using 21H1, then there's probably no need for you to worry about updating your Windows further. Simply re-download your graphics card drivers and make sure that they're fully installed working properly. If you have downloaded your graphics card drivers, maybe after rebooting and trying again, making sure everything is up to date, you might want to try and clean reinstall your graphics drivers. Now, of course, this won't always work, but it should hopefully work for you. In the description down below, you'll also find a link to the DirectX installer from Microsoft. Now, while this only supports D3D9, D3D10, D3D11, and not necessarily DirectX 12, downloading and installing this pack could still be something that helps you solve your issue. Simply open it up and follow through with the installation steps. If you're asked to repair your installation, simply click repair instead of install. If you're not too sure what version of DirectX your PC supports, you can hit start, type in DXDIAG, DirectX Diagnostics, and when the tool finally opens up, note it does take quite some time, you'll be presented with some information on your computer. If we head across to the Display 1 tab up here, you'll see your graphics card name over here, some more information about it, and on the right hand side, you should see feature levels. If you see 12.1, 12.0, or anything in the 12s, then more than likely your physical graphics card supports DirectX 12, and you shouldn't have an issue running the game. If however, you don't see 12 over here, it may be a good idea to either upgrade your graphics card as difficult as that may be, or simply try and update your drivers, clean reinstall them, etc, etc, if you should have DirectX 12 support over here. Other than that, there's not too much that we can do than trying to verify the game files on your computer. So head across to Steam, right click Resident Evil Village, click Properties, and then on the local file section, simply click verify integrity of game files. It'll run through all of the game files on your computer, make sure that they match the server and download anything extra if it's missing or corrupt on your device. Then you should hopefully be able to play the game. Assuming you've managed to fully follow through with this tutorial and you didn't get stuck anywhere, then more than likely your game should be working properly. If your graphics card doesn't necessarily support DirectX 12, well, you're kind of out of luck for this. The previous Resident Evil 7 didn't need DirectX 12 as far as I know, it needed DirectX 11. So this is quite a big jump up and it does mean that you need a better graphics card to actually play the game. 
As disappointing as this video may be, if you realize you've got an out of date graphics card, then there's always the refund feature on Steam. It's a little bit harsh to say, but if you can't get your hands on a graphics card that supports the game, then unfortunately you won't really be able to play it any other way, other than using something like Google Stadia, Nvidia, game streaming, whatever it's called. But if you're someone like me in South Africa, that's not really an option for you, and I don't even know if those services support this kind of game. But anyway, I'm going off on unnecessary tangents. Hopefully this video helped you solve your issue, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!